Hey guys, what is happening? Creos Hale here again, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. This time we're playing Gamma 1.00, brand new, came out today, November 22nd. I tried to get you guys a video on Beta 3.9, but it went by too quickly, it was only out for a couple of days, and there were some glitches with the frame shift drive where I could not exit Super Cruise. So, anyway, scrap that, and we're going on to Gamma. As you can see, they changed the interface. This actually came out in the 3.9 beta as well, but it's retained here in the Gamma. Uh, so you start off, there's different kind of backgrounds for each of the different uh, places. One thing to note is that if you used to use J to exit uh, Super Cruise in the safe disengage mode, you want to go back in and, and look at your controls because that disappeared for me and uh, I had to remap it. Even after I remapped it, there was a glitch, but uh, they seem to get rid of that glitch here in the Gamma. So what I'm going to do is actually go into solo play right now, not open play. And the reason for that is that I want to avoid any type of lag or uh, other players right now while I show you guys the features. So there's been a ton of changes. One of the biggest things is that they've removed the beta bubble. So I'm going to go over here to the galaxy map. And you can see that I started off in a uh, random federation system here. Uh, LHS 1914 so I'm actually not very close to Aaron in at all which is where I'm used to being um, but anyway let's zoom out and as you can see there's no bubble at all so you keep zooming out and this is our galaxy this is the Milky Way and it is entirely accessible or uh, they say the bulk of the system is uh, the bulk of the galaxy is accessible which is pretty damn cool what would be interesting to see is that, uh, as you guys might know, the Milky Way, the real Milky Way, has a black hole at the center of the galaxy. And I want to try to venture to the center of the galaxy later on and see if there's a black hole in the game. But for now, one of the things I did want to do is head to Sol, which is our solar system, and find Earth. Now, I can't do that in one video because it's very far away. Uh, but let me see if I can show this to you guys here. Let me zoom out. As you can see, you can, you can see uh, the soul kind of overall system there, so that's where I'm trying to go. A little bit lower. It's kind of a challenge to reach it. I spend a little bit of time trying to find it. There it is, soul. So it's 77.67 light years away from me. So as you can ma imagine, it's going to take a while for me to reach there. Um, I can always select it as a destination. Uh, I'd have to buy some trade routes along the way and figure out where to go. I wanted to show you the description of Seoul here on the left side. Uh, it's a historic system, famous as both the birthplace of humanity and as the political capital of the Federation. It goes on to tell you that it's a popular tourist venue and it's a very expensive place to live in and you, just, you need a special permit. Uh, to go there as well. So let's take a look at the system view. And here's Sol. Here's our sun, our star. And here's Mercury. Daedalus is one of the space stations orbiting it. Burnell Station over Venus. And here is Earth. Um, you can see the description here on the left side. Everything's accurate. And uh, you have a number of space stations orbiting it. Abraham Lincoln, Lee King Zhao, Gorbachev, and you have Galileo, which is orbiting the moon. And you see Mars. Uh, Mars is actually an Earth-like world. The reason for this is that it was terraformed back in the day. Um, but yeah, there's a space station, Mars High, over that as well. You can go on to see Jupiter, what's orbiting Jupiter, including Europa, which is famous in the news, Saturn, you got Titan, which is also famous in the news, and you have Titan City, you have Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, and of course, Charon. So yeah, it's pretty exciting that you can actually visit our solar system. So for now, what I'm planning on doing is actually heading to this system, Thin. Um, but let's see what else we can find. So this left panel is pretty similar. The system map, galaxy map, uh, there hasn't been any you know, major overhauls or anything like that. It's just that the beta bubble is now burst and the bulk of the galaxy is available to you. This is also pretty similar here. Let's go to Starport Services. 
and this also has not been overhauled it's it's pretty much the same as you can see I only have 95 credits I start off with 100 after this character wipe again and uh, spend some money on fuel you got the all the different traffic reports and news reports on the right side and you have everything else here on the left you have the shipyard I was actually trying to go in and find some of the new ships that they have but it's all the old ones right now I'll tell you guys more about that at more about that in a little bit uh, bulletin board so basically transporting materials from one place to another these are the available available uh, missions light cargo runs so I'm actually gonna probably take this mission here because I, right now I'm in LHS 1914 and all these guys want me to do is take a shipment of animal meat to Volta Dock which is a local uh, local uh, space station so let's go ahead and accept that and what I want to do is double check my cargo hold okay we got it and we have a finite amount of time to do this mission so we're gonna head over to Volt Dock but before we do that I want to show you this right panel here and you can see my username on the left I've got my combat rank my trade rank and explorer rank so what that means is to reach elite you can do either one of those three things or all, or all three things so you're not tied down to having an eagle or a viper you can actually go for the ASP Explorer do you know maximum amount of exploring and get to the highest rank so you're not tied down to any which way right now I'm harmless penniless and aimless according to this after the character wipe uh, on the right side you see my reputation with the Federation the Empire and the Alliance neutral to all of them and then you have the system factions as well which I'm also neutral to you can go to your finances, you can go to your statistics, which has uh, kind of shows what you've been doing, amount of bounties you've claimed, the commodities you've traded, stuff like that. Here in the permits, this is one of the reasons I want to go to Seoul, is because I automatically have a Seoul system permit. The reason why I have that is because I'm one of the beta backers, and you automatically get that. So I want to head over there. And the rest of this is pretty much the same. So we're going to launch. Oops. There we go. Now I actually already launched once, and uh, the first time you launch after one of these updates, you go through the pre-flight checklist. On the right hand uh, panel, you can actually activate that so that it happens every time you fly. It's a little bit time consuming, so I wouldn't suggest it, but if you're interested and want even more realism, you can do that. So right now we're over here in the Heisenberg uh, terminal, I'm trying to head over to Volta Dock, and oh my goodness, this is a large ship, there we go, it's close, and let's find Volta Dock, so let's do this mission right here. Now. So one of the things I wanted to show you guys is actually a tip given to me by one of my viewers. He left a comment on my last video. It was Aussie VR4, so big shout out to him. And uh, what that is, if, is if you look in my center radar or the map, look towards the top left of that. And you'll see a smaller kind of crosshairs with a globe. And I'm moving around and you can see it moving as well. And that's how you actually see where your target is for uh, let's say when you want to jump somewhere because when you target a specific space station or star system it doesn't show up on your map as something you've targeted so you actually have to look at that globe and find it and actually center it in your crosshairs so that was pretty handy so thanks again man so let us engage super cruise I like how this looks on the right side it's almost like an eclipse with the sun on the other side and uh us on the dark side of the planet. They've also added uh, two new ships in the Gamma 1.0, which is the Python and the Orca. To be honest, I'm not sure exactly what those uh, what those uh, ships are about, but I'm curious to see. I just want to take a look at the uh, effects of this planet right here. Uh, that's pretty cool. You can actually see kind of the polar ice cap on one side of this planet. Alright. 
Let's get back to Volta Dock. They've also added a capital ship event from uh, the different sides in the game. So I'm not sure what that details, but I'm sure it's different missions that you can unlock or different things that happen with capital ship battles. Kind of like the Federation distress signal back in Aranin that we had in the beta. Which I'm not sure if we have that anymore. And just a reminder, Elite Dangerous 1.0 will go live on 16 December, so that'll be the, uh, the full version of the game. So, we've always had these reputations with either side, the Federation, Empire, Alliance. Now, um, what you can also have is ranks, so you can gain ranks with either side based on how you support them and stuff like that. They've also overhauled the missions, and they've overhauled the uh, unidentified signal sources, which sometimes they they could be boring. Um, they've noted that in in the uh, USS's you'll actually have a lot more to do. Okay, looks like I'm getting interdicted right now, so I'm gonna try to use the escape vector here to get out of it. So you can see the on the left side that bar going up is me actually aligning with the escape vector. I should be able to escape this one. Interdiction evaded, so that was pretty pretty easy. I assume that'll change with the maneuverability of your space per spacecraft and the person trying to interdict you. So anyway, back to the details. Uh, you can also barter with other players, like transferring goods. Um, I don't know if you can do that with uh, with credits yet. They've also opened up open up. Uh, open mic communication with up to six players in a group. Though I assume people are still going to use TeamSpeak. I think that's the predominant form of communication in gaming. At least on DayZ it is. I'm not sure if Elite has really incorporated it. So I wanted to clarify also, uh, when I said that they got rid of the single player, what I meant was the single player campaign. That's David Braben say that said that uh, they can't maintain both the single player campaign and the uh, multiplayer world, and I think that's pretty reasonable. Uh, but don't worry, you're also going to have your single or solo play mode. You just won't uh, won't be able to have a full campaign in it. Also, even with solo play, you need a minimal internet connection. They said minimum of a 10 kb per second, which is not a whole lot, but you need to maintain that you need to maintain a connection to the servers so that they can update the economy in the game and the different prices and the different events that are happening. Okay, so I'm getting interdicted here again. It's probably an authority vessel. I'm going to try to escape. And that's evaded as well. Alright, that threw me off track. Let's let's go back to Volta. There it is. I'm approaching it slowly. So anyway, you need a minimal connection for uh, offline mode too, which is not really offline, but that's okay. I understand where they come from. So I told you guys about the Soul System permit. There's going to be different types of permits you'll need to access different regions and systems and uh, the way you can actually earn those is through missions or buying the permits, so that should be interesting. Also in the galaxy map you can see that you can uh, actually buy trade routes for different systems. Whenever you head into a system and you access the station services you automatically get that trade route because you visited it so you get it for free. If you were looking at a star system from far away, a non-local one, then you'd have to actually buy it which usually I've seen about a hundred credits but that could vary with the different trade routes they've also added a native track IR support so if you wanted to buy a head IR uh, infrared tracker you can do that before uh, it did not have native support although you could uh, install it safe disengage and here's Volta Dock I've also noticed that when you exit Super Cruise onto a star system, you actually see it approaching from far and that you kind of jump onto it, which is pretty cool before 
it kind of just appeared. Let me go ahead and request docking privileges. This is a pretty cool uh, planet as well. So I've thought about kind of taking the journey to Seoul and maybe uh, recording and uploading videos about that journey. The only thing with that is um, if they do another character wipe, which they likely will, and kind of restart my position when uh, they release Elite Dangerous 1.0, that would kind of suck. But this is a pretty cool uh, space station here. Bolt to dock. So here's my landing pad. Landing pad 2. Just here we are. Thank you, computer. I've retracted, uh, I mean, deployed the landing gear. All right, let's enter the hangar. Welcome to Volta Dock. Let's look at Starport Services. And let's go to the bulletin board right away and uh, give cargo. Boom, that's done. So this is pretty cool. You can you can actually get together a decent amount of money just by doing some local jumps here. So I can go to Vittori Terminal, make some more money as well. We're not going to do that for now. Uh, but yeah, so I have a decent amount of cash. At least I can pay for fuel and repairs and things like that. Let's go back and refuel while we're talking about that. Well, I want to go to the thin system, but I can't directly because it's 7.43 light years away. So let's go to the galaxy map. And okay, so we need to go to BD301423 first. So, like I was showing you guys, you can select this as your destination. You can do... Oh, there's no system data, so I can't do a system view with this one. There's no exploration data to buy and no trade data. So this might be interesting. Let's head over here and then let's head on to Thin after that. So in this video, I won't be showing you guys any combat because I can't get to a place where I can actually get into some fighting. Um, but I'm going to try to get you guys on the next video. It's pretty cool. Oh, sorry about that. There we go. I've also noticed that uh, they've definitely fixed some of the visuals because there's less clipping when you're actually looking around on your spacesuit. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's find the star system. right here. Well, not too much. I'm still having a little bit of lag when I enter hyperdrive. Whoa, that looks pretty nice. And we have discovered a new astronomical object. What's nice is I can actually um, use my discovery scanner because it comes with the sidewinder, so that's pretty cool. The only thing is I don't have a fuel scoop, so uh, I can't, you know, pick up fuel from the star. Let's target the unexplored. All 
Alright, very cool. We've discovered it. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. So they've talked about the unidentified signal sources. Let's go check this one out. So I was telling you guys about the head tracker, the IR system, the infrared system. I'm actually waiting. I'm not going to get a head tracker. I just use a, a mechanism on my joystick to look around. What I'm actually going to wait for is the uh, Oculus Rift consumer version. Right now they only have developer kits. Oculus Rift is a virtual reality system. If you haven't seen it, definitely check out some videos on YouTube about it because it's pretty cool and it works really well with Elite. Let's go ahead and slow down here if we can in time. Come on. Let's try that again. There we are. Trying to get interdicted here again. Come on, come on. Well, apparently this guy's winning somehow, even though I'm in the vector. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. Oh, alright, I'm getting attacked. Alright, this guy's in an eagle, so already he's got an advantage on maneuverability over me. Let's see if we can do this, though. Come on. Come on, here we go. Already I'm running out of juice on these blasters. Come on, on these lasers. So I guess I am going to show you guys some combat. Come on, shields are down. His shields are down. Let's do this. Come So what I try to do is pivot by decreasing my thrusters and kind of quickening my turn radius. Come on. There we are. Here we go. Boom. Down four. Right. So I lost that uh, unidentified signal source, or maybe that signal source was the pirate being there, and it was kind of a way to lure me over there. That's that's definitely possible. For now, what I want to do is go back into Super Cruise and explore that sun behind, uh, behind this one. Now that's pretty damn cool. See if I can target this one. Huh, I can't seem to target this uh, this other star over here. I wanted to try to scan it. That's okay though.
Alright, let's make our way to the thin system. If you're also curious about the other changes or little fixes that have been done in Gamma, it has a lot of little uh, tweaks, fixes, and little bugs that they've corrected. I've kind of gone over some of the main changes in this video. Take a look. Oh, I can't remember which terminal I wanted to go to. So, oops. Just went to system view. Alright, I'm curious about this Earth like world. So let's head on to the Euler orbital. careful. Now that is bright. So if you guys are also curious about my custom build, I bought the last component which was the GTX 780 3GB classified card and it's on its way so that's the last component I'm gonna start building it once I receive that and I'll let you know how that's going and I'll pose a question to you guys which you can answer here in the comments is uh, what are you guys planning to do in Elite? Are you planning to take the combat route, the trade route, or uh, the, the exploring route, or maybe all three of them? Let me know. So here's Thin 1, Earth-like world. You can see the polar ice cap there. Now that is pretty sweet. Alright, let's get back to that space station. There it is. Whoa. Alright, that was interesting. I don't know if that came through in the video, but uh... But yeah, I kind of saw the space station without space around it, and then we jumped in. That was kind of cool, I guess. So, what we're going to do is actually take a look at the space station before we dock. I'm getting a lot of lag here, even in solo play. I'm not exactly sure why. Okay, it's kind of, well, thought it stabilized there for a second, but... Okay, gotta be careful here. I don't want to hit one of these solar panels or the space station arms. isn't like the other ones where there's a uh, greenery and cities um, around the uh, 
kind of like the diameter of the station. Oh, wow. Now that's a nice snapshot. Now that's pretty damn cool. Let's request docking privileges. It's a small change that I've noticed, but also when you get a uh, communication to your spacecraft, like docking request granted or whatever, you hear a little sound. It kind of tells you to look to your upper left to see in your comm chatter. There's a lot of traffic here. Well guys, that brings us to the end of the video as we conclude over here in Euler Orbital. Did some flying today, we talked about and I showed you guys some of the changes in Gamma and also some of the changes in Beta 3.9 which kind of just flew by. Did a transport mission, made some credits from that. Didn't think we were going to get into any combat, but we did and we managed to take down that pirate. So overall, today was a good day in Elite. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and subscribing. If you're uh, interested, haven't subscribed, then please do. I love making content for this game, and I will continue to do so. So anyway, thanks again. You guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you next time.